G'day, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to do an introduction to Jacoby Tuno Trumps. I wanted to look at how it works, what problems it solves, what you actually give up by playing it, what the traditional responses are, and what you can do in competition with it as well. Uh, but first, what is Jacoby Tuno Trumps? Well, one of the most important things that you can do as a partnership is discuss how do you actually support your partner and how can you actually uh, use it for strong hands. So when you've got a good hand in support a partner, what do you actually do? Now, Jacoby Tuno Trumps actually solves this for when you've got big fits. So if partner opens a heart or a spade, you can use a Tuno Trump response to say that you have a game forcing strength hand with at least four cards or more support. And what this actually solves is when you're trying to support your partner, if you don't use something like Jacoby Tuno Trumps, but just have to start bidding new suits, it's hard to either convey that you've got support or that you've actually got strength. For instance, if you just jump to four spades, often this would just be a weak hand and it's also hard for a partner to explore more because this would typically be four cards, uh, five card support and a weak hand. Um, but if you used it for strong hands as well, it would be hard for partner to gauge. So you really want a way to show that you've got game forcing strength hand and support. And if you went via um, bidding a new suit and then supporting uh, their suit on the second time, um, it's hard to show how good your support is. So Jacoby Tuno Trumps uses, does this in one bid and it does it straight away and it conveys that we've got a great hand and it's really powerful for exploring slams, but also setting the, the tone of the auction. Now, whenever you're thinking about doing a convention, you want to look at, well, how frequently does it come up? And also, what do you give up by playing it? Well, how frequently it comes up? You support your partner a decent amount of time, so it happens a fair bit. But what are we actually giving up by playing uh, this? Well, we're giving up a natural 2-no-trump bid. Now, uh, a natural 2-no-trump bid would typically be 10 to 12 without a fit. Now, how would we bid this uh, if we weren't doing that? Well, if you're playing two over one, then you would typically just bid a one no trump and then bid two no trumps on your second bid. Uh, if you're playing standard, then you'd probably bid a new suit at the two level and then bid two no trumps on your, your second uh, opportunity there. So we're not really giving up too much by uh, bidding this two no trumps. So, uh, here, it's great for setting the tone of the auction. It says we've got four card support. It says we've got a game forcing strength hand. And it's really good for trying to identify slams because we've set this forcing auction at a low level. We've said what Trump's is, and we know that we're at least going to game. And we've got lots of room to explore. So how do we actually use that? So the traditional responses to Jacoby Tuno Trump's is, if you have just a minimum balanced hand, you just go to four of your major. So if you bid hearts, you go to four hearts. If you go to spades, you go to four spades. So this would just be sort of 12 to 14 uh, with no shortage. If you have a shortage, what you typically do is just bid where you've got a singleton. So three clubs here would say, I have a singleton club. If you've got a singleton diamond, you'd bid three diamonds. And if you've got a singleton heart, you'd bid uh, three hearts. This doesn't show any extra points. This just sort of shows where your, your shortages actually are. Now, if you don't have a shortage, but you've got some extra points, you've got two bids available for you. You've got three no trumps, and you've also got three spades. And uh, three no trumps is typically in like 15, 17 sort of range and three spades is sort of like 18, 19. The way I try and remember this is the more space you take up, the weaker you are. So if you're minimum with no shortage, you go to four spades. If you're a bit stronger, you go to three no trumps. And if you're even stronger than that, you go to three of a major because that's gonna conserve the most space. This is all about we're in a forcing auction. We're going to get to at least game. Let's at least uh, conserve some space. So these are the traditional responses to Jacoby Tuno Trumps. Uh, you can also have jumping to uh, four level. These will typically be good five card suits as um, saying like, I've got this good five, five shape. What do you actually think of that? Um, 
So they're the traditional responses. There are alternative options there, um, but this will do you just fine. But uh, what about in competition? So we've talked about uh, here if the opponents haven't bid, but what about if they do bid? Do you still play Jacoby to no Trump? So if they double, do you bid? What about if they uh, bid two clubs? Now, um, traditionally, if the opponents uh, intervene, uh, then you, you don't actually play uh, Jacoby to no Trumps. It's usually just in uncontested auctions. However, in a Sorry Partner po podcast, Helen Erickson says that she loves to play this in no matter what in competition. And a current expert thing is, well, you're not actually giving up much by giving up your 2 no Trump bid. 2 no Trumps isn't a particularly uh, good spot. So Helen actually likes to play it no matter what the opponents do if you use 2 no Trumps after you've opened one of a major as this good raise. And I like doing it as well. So if the opponents bid, um, if we've opened a major or typically if we've overcalled a major, I often use two no trumps, not necessarily as game forcing strength, but at least invitational plus. Uh, some people will do varying things. So uh, if you got like a two club bid and then you bid two no trumps, or if we were um, overcalling, so maybe if it went one spade and the opponents bid two hearts and we bid two no trumps, here again I'd be using this as a raise. Um, this is really up for partnership discussion. The question of what you're giving up and how you actually solve the hands that you're trying to do is an important thing to discuss. But showing this good four card raise is actually pretty powerful in lots of these spots. And the general thought here is that two no trumps really isn't a great place to try and play. So are you giving up that much to do that? Um, so you might not want to do it in all of these spots, but in lots of these spots, discussing what two no trumps is in competition can be a really useful way that you can try and um, add more uh, definition into your system because if you try and work out what a two no trump bid here would mean I don't think two no trumps really exists as a bid this auction here I would definitely be playing two no trumps as a good spade raise but other ones such as uh, if the opponents overcalled and now we bid two no trumps as the responder you definitely have a hand where uh, you just have a club stopper and an invitational hand and want to bid. So it's not that you need to do all of them. Some partnerships love to do it all. Some partnerships don't. It's worthwhile discussing what your two no trumps is in competition and using it as a good four card raise can be a pretty uh, powerful tool about what you want to do. So uh, this was just my introduction into uh, Jacoby two no trumps. Hope it clarified some things. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.